Hey, so in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about a little bit of a shorter and a simpler lesson, but still super valuable nevertheless, which is that sometimes you just got to sleep on it. And you've likely heard that before, no? Like the, the phrase, you know, you just got to sleep on it. Because uh, before you make a decision, sometimes people tell you, just sleep on it. Before you hand it in, sleep on it. Before you fully decide, just sleep on it. And you've likely done it for that matter too. So that's not all too foreign. But the goal of today's video is just to talk about how it's super, super important. And just how it's a, li it's a little bit magical in its own way. Like, it, it works in a weird way. You wouldn't think that sleeping would clear up your mind. But it does. I in a way. So, without further ado, oh, wait, one more thing. This is in blog format too. If you'd like that, it'll be posted in the description below. It's not too long. I think it's about five minutes-ish. So if you'd like to go read that, it'll be down below. And now we're, now we're all through. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. To begin though, I'd like to talk about what this has kind of done for me personally. And how this affects me. Well, what I know. What my views are on it. So, as any normal human being, things come up in my life, right? Where, where I'm presented with different options and different ways to go about them. And also, all the emotions and stress tied to them. And this can be anything. This can be from work, uh, from work stuff, school stuff, to just, you know, family matters, friends, all that stuff. So... All of that's got emotions, all of, the, all of it has different decisions to make, different routes to take. It's got all this different stuff. But the key here, the, the one thing we really want to focus on is the emotions and the stress. Because as we know, emotions and stress will affect us. They will influence us. They will change the way we act and the way we react. All the stuff we do. And when it comes down to those decisions and those routes that I'm talking about, it's no different. They'll be affected too by all of, all of the emotions and all of the stress. So, with that in mind, in highly emotional circumstances, we will often be clouded logically. All the logical options and all the logical decisions, they're going to be clouded. They're going to be obscured. Purely by emotion and all the feelings that we have running through us. Which is... Not too, it's not uncommon, don't, don't even worry. And it's not like a bad thing that you have emotions. Don't get that mixed up in here. And that's, that's not what I'm getting at. But what I'm saying is, is that the emotions of the initial beginning parts of a situation will affect the logic that you usually would think with. And it will make you act differently and decide differently, just end up completely different. So for that matter... You, you're left with two options, which is to act, do whatever you're going to do, make a decision, or s sleep it off. Just give it a bit of time. Just take a nap. Or just go, go and just let your, uh, I think it's, I heard a phrase once, talk to your pillow, or let your pillow talk to you. Such a funny phrase. But yeah, go, like, go talk to your pillow. So just, just sleep. Just sleep. Because sometimes that's all you need. You just need to sleep on it. That's your two options, really. Is to just act in that moment when you're more emotional. Or you can go talk to your pillow. I love that phrase so much. And there's also a third, I guess you could say. That is like, uh, you you just won't do anything. But that doesn't really affect the topic here today. So we're not going to we're, we're not gonna include that one. So the two options are act or talk to your pillow. Love that phrase so much. Anyway. In my experience with acting in that moment, with making a decision in that moment when I'm highly built up on stress and emotion, it's not good. It could be disastrous. It's, it just, it's, it's like emotion is the only thing that guides me in those moments. Because you'd think there's at least a little bit of logic. No. Not really. There's been times where I look back at it and I'm like, where was my logic? Where did my mind go? So it's like emotions just purely drove me through the whole thing. And, and yeah, it's because our logic is obscured by what we're feeling. Once again, that isn't bad. We don't want you to be a robot. But anyway, this causes me to just go do things I wouldn't have done. Say things I wouldn't have said. You know, like I'll, one of my most 
hated ones here, my most, my most cringed, my most regretted, is I'll sometimes make a commitment that I just can't stick to later. That I just don't feel like I want to do anymore. I hate that one so much. I hate it so much. I don't want to go after that. I don't want to go do it after I'm, after I'm off the emotion high. So, with that in mind, it's a little bit disastrous in its own way. Like, I wake up the next morning, and, and my mind's all clear, so now I just gotta reflect on everything I just did. Never a good feeling. But, that's also super important, what we just said. That we wake up in the morning, and we logically think and reflect on what we just did. That's super important. Because what I just did was I slept on it, except I made the decision previous. When I could have instead just slept on it, cleared my mind the next morning, and made the decision that next day. Because now I'm thinking logically, because now I have the right mindset, and now I'm all good. I'm not going to go off and make a decision that I'm not going to be able to commit to. I'm not going to say and do things that I wouldn't usually do. I'm only going to do the things that my logic would dictate. All because I'm just calming myself down, talking to my pillow... And doing it all tomorrow. That It's really that simple. Because overall, nothing good has really ever happened when I just act on my emotion. On any, of the, on any of the emotions, really. It could be any emotion. It could be anger. It could be sadness. It could be extreme joy. Whatever the emotion may be, it, it will affect your decisions. And it maybe 90% of the time won't turn out great. Not to say it's going to go super, super bad, but to say that, you know, you, you would have preferred if it didn't end up there. If the worst case is, you know, you got to commit to something that'll take no time, but you don't want to be there. It's, it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but you still wish you weren't there. So that's what I mean. It, it ranges, but still, overall, nothing good really comes from acting on emotions. Whereas on the other hand, after I sleep on it, and I'm calm, everything's perfectly fine, because I, I act on my logic the next day. I act on my logic the next morning. And that always works. That That's always good. Of course, that isn't to say that everything's going to be flawless, right? When we're, when we're not like, we're, we're not mistake-proof after sleeping it off. We're not bulletproof after sleeping it off. That That's not how that works. But it is to say that we will probably make less mistakes and if we do make mistakes, then we were more logical about them. We weren't going around and being purely emotional and irrational. We were being logical, so we had an assumption, we had a good idea, and it went wrong. But we had a good plan in our mind for what it was. It, so it's like the best mistake you could make, per se. You're never ever going to make zero mistakes. Anyway, with all that said... That's why I think it's such a great exercise. That's why I think you should really get after it. And before we before we end it off, because that sounds like it's it, but we have a little more. Before we end it off, I just want to do a little brain exercise with you, which is going to help you realize what this will exactly do for you. Because these are kind of like my examples. Let's Let's see what happens with you. So... I just want you to think about the times that you've made a decision that was more led by emotion than it was by logic. I'm pretty sure we've all had these. I'm not going to say that you that you absolutely have, but I'm under the assumption, because I I don't know anyone who hasn't done this, so if you haven't, nice, that's super cool, I don't know how, but nice. And if you have, then just follow along here. So pick up something, something that you did that you feel was more dictated by emotion than it was by logic. And I just want you to just want you to think, did that really do anything good? Not to say that everything was like a massive disaster, but to say that maybe it could have been a little bit better, you know? Like maybe I could have been a little more logic. If the worst thing you have is a little bit of cringe, that's not bad, but you still wish you didn't have cringe. So, what's really there? Was it good, or do you have a little bit, maybe even a big, regret? So you're often, like, I'd say 9 out of 10 times, emotion's gonna lead 
leave some form of regret. Big or small, some form of regret. But in the odd case, it didn't. Just like find another. But the point is, I want you to think about if that was your whole life. I want you to think if everything that you did, if everything that came to you and brought emotions to you, you acted on only purely based off of your emotions and feelings, but not off logic. I want you to think, what would that do to your life? What would that do to you? Because you already know with the examples we have here that when you've done this before, it hasn't always worked out the best. Not, not nearly the best. So, for that matter, what would your life be like if you only did this? If you only acted on emotion, and if you never really took a chance at logic? It'd be disastrous. It, 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 would, it, it would just, it would destroy your life, essentially. And we don't want that. Nobody wants that. So, right there and then, is pretty much the only reason why I'd say, you know, we can't follow emotion. We cannot do it. Do not, do not let emotion dictate logic. That is not a good thing. Because it will ruin your life. It really will. At least to some degree. So, for that matter, just take a look. Just take a look at what this has done. Don't rush in. Just don't rush in. That future where you only live off of emotion, where you only do things because of what you feel, that's a horrible future where nothing goes right for you. Or, well, maybe some things go right, but, but not much. So, think about that. And just remember, we can sleep it off. We can talk to our pillow. We can sleep on it. Wake up the next morning, and we can logically decide things and be perfectly fine. One more thing before we end off, though, which is I just want to tell you kind of how to tell when this is a good time, when, when, the, when it's a good time to do this, which is, it, it's super simple, really. You just have to take a moment to notice, do I have any heightened emotion or stress? And you can often find this, you know, with like anger or sadness, you know, you, you'll feel it. You'll feel it when you're really pissed off or you're really upset or, where you, or when you're really stressed and you're really bouncy. You'll be able to feel it. You, you'll be able to tell. And it's in those moments when you absolutely can say, I'm too angry or I'm too sad or I'm too stressed that you need to take a step back. You need to calm down. And you need to maybe sleep on it. Maybe. I'm not saying you have to sleep on absolutely everything. There are things that you can't just sleep on. But for some big decisions, if you're, if you're super angry, if you're super sad, if you're super stressed, just, if you can, sleep on it. Take a nap. That doesn't mean you have to wait until the end of the day. But just take a nap. For like an hour. For 30 minutes. Just take a nap. Get those emotions calmed down. Yeah, even meditation works, I would bet. So, I just find sleep is better. But um, but still, do something to calm yourself down, to sleep on it in some way, and then after you're done that, then act. Then you're fine. Because you will be clouded by emotions. Your judgment will be super, super obscured. You won't think logically. You'll only think about what you feel. You'll think about how you're angry. Or about how you're sad. Or about how you're stressed. And then you're going to overlook everything. Maybe there's a viewpoint you missed. And then what happens then? You, you overlooked it. Maybe you give in this final product. But you overlooked something. And then what happens there? Or maybe you say something that you didn't really want to say. That you didn't really mean to say. Or maybe you just do something. Once again that you just. You can't commit to. After you're thinking logically. I really 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 hate that one. I really hate that one. That one's my least favorite of, of all of them. Because you can't really apologize. You have to just go through it. And I hate it. Luckily, that's why this lesson exists, though. Anyway. Just take those moments when you're super heightened in an emotion. To take a step back and calm it down. After you're done with that. Then. Take an action. Then. Do something. I guarantee it'll help you so much. Just remember, never let emotion dictate logic. And then you'll be perfectly fine. I promise you. Anyway, that's about it. That's the whole lesson here. It's 
I, I, well, I don't know. I think it's on par. I, you know, I said it was shorter, but now I'm looking at it, and it seems on par with the normal. I don't know. I don't know anymore. But regardless, my challenge for you today is just to try noticing your emotions. I want you to try and take a look at your emotions for the day. I just want you to see, you know, like, do I have any heightened ones at any point? If you do, take a step back, calm it down before you do something. And if you don't, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. But I just want you to take a bit today to just be a little bit aware of how you're feeling and how that has affected your logic. And in doing so, it's like a little bit of practice for, for this whole lesson about sleeping on it. So do your little practice here and just notice how you're going to feel throughout the day. Just notice it and try to calm it down. Anyway, I hope this helps you a ton. Feels so short yet again, but I don't know how long this is, so we're going to see. I think it's on par, but but super valuable still, at least I think. it's uh, This one was one of my most valuable ones. Anyway, that's everything. Hope this helps you a ton. Take care, my friend.